Welcome back once again to the wagon shop here on Main Street in Joliet. You know if you've watched past videos, you know I like to use ash when I'm making wagon hubs. Oftentimes I laminate these just so I can use kiln dried lumber and get the process going a little quicker. But if I have a solid block or a solid tree, I also like to do that. Well, we don't have any white or brown ash trees around here, but we do have what's called a green ash tree. Well, I have some of these trees that have been growing too close to a building that I have here in town, and the roots are getting too close to the foundation, so I decided to remove these trees last summer. One of these trees had about a 12-inch base on it, and so I blocked up four pieces that I thought would be good candidates for making wagon hubs out of. Well, I've been tripping over these blocks for about a year now, and I decided it's time to turn them into hubs and get them put out of the way. So that's what I'm going to start to do this week, is turn these ash blocks into wagon hubs. Now, even though these blocks have been cut up for over a year, I know they're not going to be dry enough to use, so I like to turn the bark off and then drill about a two or two and a half inch hole through the center. I put linseed oil on the end grain and I set them aside and just let them cure. For air dried lumber, it takes about a year for every inch thick. So if I'm going to turn a 12 inch block, that would mean it would take about 12 years to dry. But when I bore a two or two and a half inch hole through the center, I can cut that down in half because the air is allowed to circulate through the center. Well, this hole also acts as a secondary purpose and maybe the most important purpose is while this wood dries, it allows it a place to shrink to. You know, wood just left on its own in, a, in the block form like this will open up and crack because it doesn't have anywhere to relieve that stress. So when I do these type of hubs, I turn the outside, bore a hole through the center, and set them aside. Well, I actually have a set of hubs here that I did this exact same process to, and this has probably been 10 or 12 years ago. They have been sitting in the shade inside the shop here for that long. They have not developed any cracks, any splits, and they are down to where they are usable hubs now. I've got a wagon that I need to build, a chuck wagon that's going to be a complete restore, and these hub blanks are going to be used for the hubs on this wagon. Well, I didn't even get to the point of boring the hole through the center of this hub. I kind of had my suspicions as I was turning this down because it had kind of a soft feel to it and sure enough it's just full of holes. So the ash beetle borer has been working on this tree even though it seemed like it was a healthy tree at the time. So this block is firewood. I'm not even going to mess with the other three. It's a waste of time to go any further.
Well, back in the fall of 2017, maybe it was early winter of 2018, I don't remember for sure, somebody called and said they had some elm trees and was curious if I would be interested in using these for hubs. Well, I was, so we went up and sorted through their, their pile of logs and I brought these home to turn into wagon hubs. Well, I get busy and projects get to be demanding and I just lose track of round to it and I never got round to it. So they've been sitting out now in the sun for several years and way too long. So the question is now, are they still usable for hubs or I just have a pile of firewood? So I'm going to go through and, and cut these up and see if I can't salvage something for wagon hubs out of these logs.
Well, some of these really are pretty badly split and they are just that, they're just firewood. But I selected a few here that I think maybe I'm going to try. I'm going to give this one a shot here and see how it goes and we'll see how it goes. Well, these cracks that are showing up in this hub are showing me I need to be a little pickier on what I choose. I'm turning these to 12 inch OD, maybe a little strong. These discs that I use for face plates are 12 inch. Most wagon hubs are going to be down in the 10 inch area, so I've still got some room to take these off. But I'll put some Type Bond 3 and fill it with some sawdust and see if I can salvage these. They might not be ideal appearance wise, 
But this is a pretty hot solid hub blank and I think it'll be pretty functional really for a wagon hub. You know, elm is really a pretty good wood for wagon hubs or buggy hubs, either one, carriage hubs, coach hubs. Elm tends to be a pretty stringy grained wood and it holds together really well when you perforate it full of mortises for spokes. So this is not a red elm or a rock elm. Those are probably the two most favored family of elm trees. We have a lot of Chinese elm out here and I have used some of that for buggy hubs. But this American Elm, it seems like it's a pretty hard cut in wood. I think they'll work pretty well. You know, my mind is kind of thinking about this as I was turning this hub down, thinking, you know, I'm not really at the peak of my career. I'm kind of actually tailing off and trying to slow this down. So I'm going to be a little more critical on what I save. If I get a couple of sets of wheels out of this, that'll be about all. The rest, yeah, it's going to heat the shop this winter. It's firewood. Well, these logs can be a good source for wagon hubs. If you turn them down and the biggest, most important thing to do is to bore that center hole through the center. I do about a two and a half inch. It allows the air to penetrate, cuts the drying time down in half. It allows that wood room to shrink as it dries. It still takes about 10 years to get a hub that's usable. So anyway, appreciate you following along. Thanks for watching.